how do you share something that most people don't have a clue about? Um, what is it like to go into a prison on a day that somebody gets stabbed and killed? I know what that feels like. The eyes of Bloomington native and local artist William Murray have seen unimaginable things throughout his lifetime. Murray described his youth as rebellious. He was involved in gangs and often skipped school. In the late 1960s, after a stint in the service, William decided to pursue his true passion and enrolled in the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. After graduation, an unlikely offer came his way. I was asked by a friend if I would be interested in uh, teaching some art classes uh, at Stillwater Prison. And I knew some of the people who were in there, and they knew, they knew who I was, too, from the gangs. And I thought that would be good practice for me. If I could teach there, I could teach anywhere. Murray described the environment at the Stillwater Prison as an extreme place for extreme people, even recalling a fight with an inmate he was involved with in his first month on the job. But as I taught there, and the more I taught there, I became more aware of the need uh, for inmates to, in fact, uh, learn something so that when they got out, they would have um, uh, hope. They would have something to hold on to, just like me. For more than 30 years, Murray gave his passion for art, his time, his advice, and his heart to the inmates of the Stillwater Prison. I would always tell my students, okay, making art, you're going to make bad drawings. That's part of the process. And in life, making mistakes is part of the process. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to allow that to destroy you completely as a human being? Or are you going to, in fact, um, become stronger because of that failure? And as his retirement from teaching grew closer in the early 2000s, William felt unsettled. I also had this incredible need that I could feel inside of me to somehow visually uh, interpret what it is that I wanted to do about my experience in the prison, because it's very unique. I mean, how many people talk to serial killers every day? How many people uh, talk to pure psychopaths? Uh, to me, I, I needed to say something about that. And that is where, out of the abyss, William Murray and the Prison Art Project was born. The exhibit features two separate bodies of work, one being the work by inmate students, the other his own expression of his personal struggle to cope with the constant presence of crime in today's world. But this prison series is something that has been driving me for a long time. And uh, some of the images that I'll be showing, I don't even know where they came from, you know? And, uh, some well, may see Murray's work as loud, sometimes dark or ominous. But it's the definition of real. When you open it, those shoes will start moving.